This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Flares and the Hogan's and the Nash's and the Goldberg's and the Stings and what have you. Yeah. Maybe you should just wait and do the invasion angle when those guys are available. But it does feel like once we turn Austin heel and we see the pay-per-views and gates start to nosedive, maybe this is a, let's hit the panic button. We had this whole invasion thing in our back pocket the whole time. We plan to do it down the road, but man, we're, we're hemorrhaging cash right now. Let's, uh, let's do it now and try to make the best of it. And it worked as a one-off for this one pay-per-view, but then it starts to dwindle again. Do you think had the Austin heel turn not happened at WrestleMania 17, you guys still would have tried this invasion concept in the summer. I don't know why we wouldn't have, but it'd been different. It would have been cast differently, right? Should the creative have been written differently. So it give it a different, whole different look. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think it would have been a, a different piece of business, uh, quite frankly. It's also but, worth mentioning, you know, we, you mentioned the rock, but triple H is out here too. You know, he tore his quad yeah. and was on the shelf. You're missing a lot of main players. So it's not just, Hey, there's a lot of WCW guys missing. Hell there's a lot of WWF guys missing the rock no. triple H Chris Benoit on and on. It's a, uh, it's a fascinating time to look back at. And we hope you guys have dug what we tried to do here is we revisited one of the all time pay-per-views that people will cuss and discuss and break down and dissect for years. Yep. But for my money, Jim, it's hard to beat that Jeff Hardy, Rob Van Dam match on this show. That's the best. It was the best by far. It wasn't even close. I don't even know who was second. Maybe the, the, the big 10 man tag with Austin's turn, as far as a, a reaction was concerned, but it wasn't the reaction as we thoroughly discussed that the fans wanted to see, right? They reacted, they made noise, but it was the wrong noise. So, uh, but yeah, Jeff and, and RVD killed it and they, they were the MVPs of that show without, without question. And, but I don't know, there's a lot of ways more when you go back and look, well, what if you did this? And what if we, what if we did that? There's a lot of what ifs, and that's the nature of the wrestling business, uh, booking creativity, creative. And, uh, and we had signs financially and we had signs attendance wise, all those measurables. And then when you got your, your, you're going to be your top heel selling more merchandise than anybody else. What, what all we need here? What, right. what, what more evidence do you need that this is the wrong strategy? And, and, uh, you know, as, as time would prove out, it, it was the wrong strategy. Let's mention next week, we're going to be doing something that, uh, I can't wait to talk about it's triple H is not. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.